five, four, command engine start, two, one. From deep in the heart of Texas, the richest man on planet Earth blasted off into outer space. The Blue Origin rocket carrying Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, his brother Mark, 82-year-old female Mercury space program pioneer Wally Funk, and 18-year-old Dutch space enthusiast Oliver Damon climbed at three times the speed of sound, crossing the 100-kilometer boundary that marks the edge of space. The four passengers exclaimed with delight as they experienced several minutes of floating around the capsule in zero gravity. The new Shepard's windows are the largest ever in any spacecraft, affording them a view of the Earth far below with the darkness of space above. The entire flight was fully automated. There was no pilot and no control panel. Instead, software and ground control did all the work. And now they're coming floating back down. At the capsule began its descent and deployed its parachutes to land safely in the desert scrub. From beginning to end, the flight took just about 10 minutes. Bezos summed up the experience. Best day ever. Later, the newly minted astronauts spoke at a press conference. Oh my God. <laughs> My expectations were high and they were dramatically exceeded. I hope that we are one of the first and let's hope that many, many more people can do this because this experience you should share with more and more people. We had a great time. It was, it was wonderful. True. I want to go again fast. <laughs> <laughs> Bezos' flight came just over a week after British billionaire Richard Branson flew to the edge of space. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is also reportedly interested in making the trip at some point. Many have criticized the exploits of space-smitten billionaires as a galaxy-sized ego competition, costing billions of dollars that could have been better spent to alleviate misery on Earth, particularly in the midst of a deadly pandemic. But others hope the stunning pictures will rekindle some of the excitement about space travel that has waned since Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon 52 years ago to the day. Bezos' best day ever could signal the beginning of a lucrative suborbital space tourism industry, with well-heeled individuals paying vast sums of money to momentarily slip the surly bonds of Earth. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Van Horn, Texas.